This is for the hat attachment, which you should already be fabs on the border machine in order to use this, which we're about to show you now. It's going to be placed here. This is what we pull it out. And there's three parts per tool on this thing. Use a couple tools. You only use these to um, adjust if you have to adjust something that gets on it. So, we have here. This is the mounting jig. This will go right here. Well, I'll show you in a second. I'll just take it out. And this is the hat drive. Goes on the machine. This is called hat frame. It has a couple of uh, clamps on here that you use to hold the, the hat together. I'll show you that in a minute. So these are the three parts to it. The hat jig, the mounting jig, the driver, and hat frame. So you start with this one right here, and you mount it right here. This is where we found it is like the best spot so far. Before I actually, before I mount it, I'm going to show you a couple things. This is where you tighten it to here to lock it in place. This screws right here is to adjust for the size of the hat. So you unloosen them up and you pull it all the way till it stops, and that's for the big hats, pro hats they call it. And then all the way down where it is now is for like the golf hats or dad hats, whatever you call them. And this is a stopper, which I'm about to adjust right now. You need the toolbox for a screwdriver. And so you loosen these up. Lock it in place. This thing is to stop the um, the hat frame arm. You'll see in a second. So you just lock it. Make sure it's tight. And now you would adjust if you needed to adjust for the size of the hat right here. Okay. Now we're going to mount this on the table. See? I find the spot here is good. Tighten it up right here until you feel it nice and snug. And just, you know, not too crazy, just tighten it. And that's it. So it's nice and tight and soft. Okay. So then, you take the hat frame. This is the hat frame. This is what you're going to put your hat on in order to put it on the machine, which I'll show in a minute. This goes right here. So this has to be slid in a certain way. If not, it won't go in. So if you go just like this, It'll be crooked, it won't go in right, as you can see. So you have to like find a little slide in, and slides in. You see the slide in? Now, just to show you, this hole here and this hole here is going to go and fall into these places if it's done right. And it slides in, and you grab these two right here, and this thumbs right here, and you just push it. There you go. See how it locks in? So it's locked in. So I'll take the clips out. The hat, this is a basic hat, but make it work. Also, this is, this is where the, the, the brim goes to here. But just so you see, if it's too loose, you adjust it right here. These two right here, not this one. These two right here. If, it, if, it, if you feel that when you latch it in place, it's too loose. That's where you adjust that, just so you see. Okay, so... You make sure you get the sweatband unfolded. Make sure it's unfolded. And you can see. Put the arm. That's what this arm is for to stop this right here from falling, flopping over. Slide it in. Make sure it slides in. And you see that line right here? That's where you align this line right here. So, you, so it's nice and straight. You push it in right to where the brim hits. And then you tuck everything under also. Tuck it under. You'll, you'll pinch it in, in a couple minutes with the clips that I just showed you. Just make sure everything is nice and snug. Then this comes, and the brim goes inside of it. Just like that. So you make sure everything is aligned. You come over here, and there's a latch. See? So. Now, if you felt that it was too loose or too tight, this is where you adjust the two screws I showed you earlier, right here. 
So in order to, to have this nice and snug, you have to have it like this. So that's where the clips come in. They come in to you, you pitch it in the arm. So you try to make it taut. And you try to get the wrinkles out. See how it's somewhat... You pinch it. Just make sure you feel the teeth under it. You can feel it when you run your finger across it. I know you can't see it, but I can feel them as soon as I, so it's aligned with the teeth inside of you. So now that you've pushed the hat a little bit and you fold this over, and that holds your hat. So this hat is pretty much ready to get embroidered. Now, the same way you put it in, the same way you pull it out, you grab these little latches right here, use both of them, and you just figure out how to pull it out. See that? It's pretty simple. Okay, this is where you put stabilizer if your hat isn't thick enough like this one is just cloth so it has to be put on so before you put this on the, uh, the hat frame you slide it under then you lock it into place and it pinches it right here and this is what it looks like it has the stabilizer inside of it because this hat needs it you have to put this on which is the driver this is going to take the place of these aren't the, um, the hoop holder Okay, so first you're going to take off this right here, you're going to loosen this screw up right here. There's two of these that you have to take out. And then these two holes right here is actually the holders for these screws. So you screw right here, it actually goes right here to hold it so you don't lose it. There's another one over here. It's the regular one. So you take it out. And this whole thing should just come right out. So now make sure that I place this screw here just, just to make sure we don't lose it because then we have to hold it up. Okay, then you set it to the side. Now this is the hat driver. Now right now it's locked in position. I mean it's locked so because it's, it's been put away. So you take these out and you're going to use both of these screws in order to attach it to the machine. See how it loosens up when you take it out, which is okay. And then you have two screws on here that you have to loosen up. Just bring it down to right to the line, just about without taking them out. Now you have the space right here in between both of these. And that's what's gonna go in here. See this 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 metal bar right here across? That's gonna go in here. So the bottom part. Is gonna go inside of here. This bottom part right here. All right. So, you put two screws down for a moment. Gently glide it in here, and I'll find the spot. Here it goes. Right there. So you see the two um, notches with the two pins fall into the hole. Okay, so now, let me look crooked. Okay, so now I'll tighten the two bottom ones. I'm tightening this one. And the same thing with the other side. Tighten this one, at least to hold it into place. Just snug them up tight. You don't have to get too crazy with it. Just turn it tight. You see how this is loose? Because you need the two screws now. They go next to the pins. One goes on this side, right here. You just get it in. Don't tighten it just yet. And the same thing on this side. Another one right here, right next to the pin. Just put it in. Now you got both of them in. They're both good. Now you tighten them by hand tightly. This little thingamajig right here, when, when you're doing hats, this has to be put right here. See those two little notches? Put them in the holes. And now you're able to put the hat with the thing to, to get it sold. But always put this when you're doing hats. This look, it's, it lives inside our toolbox for the embroidery machine. The hat frame on. So sometimes the brim is going to be in the way, so you just twist it sideways. And you get it in, or if you can get it in like this, but 
this is the hard part right now because sometimes you gotta adjust the the, um, the brim and you'll feel it just be careful with the needles so you don't damage them and then the same way you found I mean you attach the the frame to to the mounting jig is the same way you ha you mount it on here you see the, the white wheel with the spacing that's it now this is locked into place I'll make sure everything's nice and snug tight and this should be ready to embroider so make sure that this is hanging loose like that it doesn't get caught inside because you'll be stitching through it so now everything is in place um, you have to make sure that you had bobbin thread in it which you should know already if your bag's on this on the machine Okay, we're gonna go here. We're just gonna put some initials, maybe. Uh, let's put something simple. M H, make Haven. Best place in the world. Okay, so um, you set it because that's what we chose. We're gonna keep it black outlining, so it can be fast. Now you adjust the size. You should know all this already to adjust and turn around and do all, everything so and edit so as you can see where it is so I can adjust it a little bit up or down also the image is automatically flipped over for the hat because it knows it has that hat attachment to it so it automatically flips the sign over I mean the, the logo over once you end the edit it flips it so you don't have to worry about that then you can adjust a little bit as you can see so that looks good to me. So then I just embroidery. And one should be all set with black. And then ready? Here we go. So as we can see, it got out of place, but that was because I didn't tighten it enough. So you have to make sure this is real tight. It would have came out better if I would have been tighter, like this. You see, but okay, so now you're done with it and um, push the machine forward. Oh, it's very forward. So, anyways, so now we're gonna unlatch it the same way we did earlier. It's pretty simple, just gotta make sure that you don't. Mess up the needle, you turn it sideways. You might have to push down on the brim just to get it out smoothly. And the same way you put it on, you take it off. And this is your hat. Now this is obviously a mistake because I didn't put it tight enough, but you'll figure it out along the way. And then once you're done with the machine, you take it apart the same way you put it in and put everything back where it belongs. So, I'm going to undo these screws, make sure they don't fall because they are small. Now these screws go on the driver, the hat driver. So you loosen the bottom you want up to. It's just slide right out. Okay, then you make sure you place these here because this is what holds everything together.
and tighten it. Make sure you tighten it good, not too hard, but just enough to keep everything together. And you screw the same thing so you don't lose, you don't lose them. And this is ready to be put away. Tightened, ready. Okay. Same thing with this. You latch it right here. And then it's ready to be put away also. So now we're going to put back the arm that goes here. Same thing but backwards. So two screws, they, you know where they are because you put them there. All right here. Take them both out. Happy London. Okay. You gotta be careful when you put it back. You should know this already. Depending on the size you put it, is where it goes. Right there. Okay. So, same place it was before. I don't know if you can see that. Tighten it, not too tight, just enough to get the other one on also. Once they're both on, then you tighten it. Hand tight. Now you can tighten both of them nice and snug. Make sure you tighten nice and snug all the screws that are on here. And this machine is ready to embroider um, shirts or whatever else. Carriage will move. Okay. You just press home. And this is done. You can turn it off. Um, and that's that for that. And then we take this out. Same way we put it. Loosen it up. Now, in order to put it back in the box, you have to un undo this right here. The, the stopper. It's pretty simple. Only two screws. Fold it. Just tighten Lightly, you don't have to do too much. Okay, now this screwdriver belongs in the in the embroidery toolbox, which is this. Okay, these go right where, where you found them. Which this one goes right here, like that. The hat attachment. You make sure you put the clips back where they belong. Which is, this is that is actual home for the clips. And this is where you clip the hat and you put it on. And this goes right here, just like that. Then the driver goes right here. Loose. Make sure you put the manual. That's another thing. If you run into a situation, you can ask somebody who knows about it or read the manual. It's good to read the manual anyways. So this goes back in the box. Maybe sideways or something. Just to show you. And take the box. This side up to its new home, which is right there. Happy hand. Here you go.